Good morning, you two. Um, I'm just coming on for your daily phonics. And we're going to do things a little bit differently today. So we will start with our sounds, going through ones that we're familiar with, going through ones that we've looked at this week and looking at our new sound. But today I'm going to show you my screen and hopefully we can work together through your work. Let me know what you think. So we'll start by your, your familiar sounds. I'm not going to say these. I want you to say them out loud for me. Now we're just going to quickly go through the ones that we've done recently just to make sure we know all of these. So these ones that you did yesterday, hopefully. Um, so your alternative sounds there. Um, this is one that you know, as in sun, but also if you see this diagram, you know you've got s, so we've got s, as in dance. And we'll continue with these ones. Air, as in scare. And then air as in hair. Or as in fork and or as in your. We've got O as in bow that you put in your hair. And O as in goat. Ear as in deer. And ear as in ear. You as in rescue and you as in glue and you as in newspaper and you as in screw. Absolutely. So there's the sounds that we've done already. Now today we are going to look at two new words. One that you know from a long time ago. And that's right, it is e. E as in egg. But you know that one. So we're going to look at how else you can say F. So now we know these as an E sound, but also you can make an E sound. E. Can you say it? E, E, E. And that's right. If you look down here, we've got a loaf of bread. B, br, e, d, bread. So we're just going to look at these words and I want you to remember to get your finger out and when I show you this diagraph the E and the A I want you to point to the screen. Are we ready? Well done and again well done and finally, well done. What do you notice about this eh sound? Yeah, it's always in the middle of a word. Okay, let's try and read our words. I just want to go through a quick slide with you. And this is how we practice our reading at Bracken Edge. So if you just have a little look at the screen here, it says spot for digraphs and trigraphs. So that's what I need to be doing with these words, spotted for trigraphs and say each sound. Blend the words by pointing to each sound and say the word as you go sweep it with your finger. So let's have a go at doing that with these sounds. I'll just stop that. 
Are we ready? So we look for the diagrams. I can see a diagram here, which is one that we're doing together. So it is h, e, d, head. Now this one's quite long, so we do need to get quicker when we're longer sounds. So we don't get confused. So we'll go sp, r, e, d, spread. So do that one again. Sp, r, e, d, spread. Okay, well look at this one. Now I can see that there are three diagrams. Can you see three diagrams? You can see this one, this one, and this one. Okay, let's have a go. So even though it's a really long word, there are still only four sounds in there. So you would be able to spell weather really easily. Okay, let's just have a little look at my screen again. And this is how we do reading in your head. So it's exactly the same, but you're just saying it in your head. So you're spotting the trigraphs and digraphs. You're saying the sound, but this time in your head. And then you are blending the sound again in your head and then you are saying the word. Should we have a go at that? Are we ready? Did you get those words in your head? Well done if you did. Okay, so with our sound today, what I'm going to do is show you the picture that I usually post up and we're going to go through it together today. So if you just bear with me one second. There you go, can you see it? So what I want you to be thinking about is where is this picture set? If you can discuss it with yourself or you can discuss it with somebody with you at home or in class, where is this picture set? Who is in this picture? What do you think the problem is? And what do you think is happening? Pause the video to have a little discussion either with yourself or with somebody else. What did you come up with? Okay, now we are going to look at these two sounds. So we know we've got eh as a phoneme and we've got eh as a digraph. Now, can you find any of these words within the picture? Pause the video to have a think. Uh, that's right, I can see t, eh, d, d, e. Remember this y sound is an e. And I can see it down here. What else can I find? Oh, I wonder if this one is a h, e, d, head. Right. Can I find any more? Oh, I can see on the end of this boat is a f, e, f, a. A feather. Let's see what the other ones are. Wet. Wet. Umbrella. Umbrella. Elbow. Meadow. Egg. Bread. Bread. Did you get, manage to get all those? What I want you to have a look at now is try and read all of these words. Now it's up to you. You can do it in your head or you can do it out loud. I'm going to choose to do them in my head.
how did you get on with that? Great, right. Now we are doing the reading side of our sounds. I want us to have a little go at the spelling side of my sounds. So we're going to have a little go at spelling these words at the back. Here, so I'm just going to stop sharing and go onto a different screen for you. We are going to have a little look at spelling our sounds. So just remember, it could be just a phoneme eh, or it could be the digraph eh. So the first one I want you to think about is eh, d, head. Now, how many sounds does that have? That's right, that has three sounds. So I will only use three boxes. And in my first box, I know I've got a so I'm going to write in my second box. I know I've got an E. Eh, this is our digraph. And then finally, in my last box, eh, d, head. Absolutely. And you can obviously we when we are writing it, we wouldn't leave gaps in our writing. So have a little go at spelling it using your neat handwriting. It's a little bit tricky for me on my laptop, but I know that you'll be able to use your neat handwriting. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. So now this one's a little bit longer and it is spread. Can you say it with me? Spread. How many sounds is that? Spread. Spread. That's Five sounds, so I'm going to be filling up all these boxes. Let's have a go at my first sound. S it's my track. Um, diagraph again. Eh. And spread. Like you do with the jam in a sandwich. Did you get that right? Okay, last one for our spelling, really long word. However, it is only four sounds like we said before, and that is weather, weather, as in the weather outside. So let's have a go. W -e so my first sound is a w. There we go, my next sound is my digraph, my f digraph. And then I've got w s. Right, I know how to do this. And then my last one is an er uh sound. And you just spell a very long word weather. Okie dokie. Have a little go at spelling those words for yourself if you want to pause a video. You can even put them in sentences if you would like. But we are going to move on to our worksheet. So here are the different ways to say an eh, eh with your phoneme and eh with the digraph. But all I want you to do first is find those um, phonemes and find digraphs or if there's any trigraphs in there and use your sound buttons. Now, I know that you're very good at doing this. So we've got eh, mm, t. And because this is a um, digraph, I'll just give it a little line there. Eh, N -t -a enter and then we'll go ex it exit let's have a look at these ones on here oh this is a long one let's try and do this one together P -t pleasant it's a long one isn't it and when something gets pleasant it's it's quite nice okay once you finish those, I want to really have a go at reading each one. You can do it out loud or you can do it in your head. Remember, we are trying to move to be re good readers in our head. Once you've done that, can you find all the eh sounds within this text? The weather went from pleasant to wild. Have a look at all the eh sounds and then once you have finished that 
I want you to choose one of these words and then write, draw a picture and then write it. So I'm going to choose feathers. So I will draw feather like so. Obviously you can do it a little bit better. And then I'm going to write a sentence. So my sentence could be the, let's make that a bit smaller, the colour for feather came down from the could you do? Remember, if you want to try and extend your sentence with but, because, and, if, when, that would be even better. Please share your work with me. I hope you've enjoyed this way of phonics and I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you.